Chinese pick, okay. Uh, are we going to the democratically elected Pokemon Stadium too? Yep, democratically elected. Let's go. Now, um, from my experience with uh, Pokemon Trainer, I think Squirtle does very well against the Spaceys. Uh, very small, has good combo potential, especially against Fast Fallers. I mean, look at all this. And it's, oh, you know, especially against a character like Wolf, Water Gun. 100% Water Gun. Okay, dash attack, yeah. But the problem with Squirtle is that look at all the damage he's accrued, and it's it's almost time to start switching because uh, Squirtle is just so light. I think he's the third lightest character in the game. Oh, the trade, okay. Not too bad, but what I've seen from Sweet Tea is that he's actually quite ballsy with the Squirtle. Like, he will keep the Squirtle out for quite some time. Uh, that's what I call confidence in your character. Ooh, trying to, that wasn't exactly the right spacing with the Nair there, but he managed to make something happen. Okay, good forward air too, clipping through the stage. Ugh. Very nice dash attack from K9, just punishing the fairy on landing there with, with a kick to the face. Doesn't that just kind of rock how dash attack can send you vertical or sideways and it'll kill you either way? It's, it's, it's gnarly. Oh, missing the forward air, and that's, that's also another thing. Uh, I mean, this, oh, good, jab lock. Man, the consistency with which Sweet Tea has been getting those is kind of impressive. Nice right. up tilt. Very nice back air out of shield there. Yeah, I agree. Up throw up air. Mm, yeah, he got a nice little cross up there. Seems pretty even to me. Oh, can I, I think he tried to jump on top of uh, top of Squirtle. Definitely would have been uh, a good play too. Yeah. Uh, Squirtle, I believe, has five seconds of uh, helpless state when you step on him on withdrawal. And I don't know if you can mash out of that. I don't think you can. Yeah. I mean, it would help. It would help. Ooh, misspacing the forward air, letting K9 get back into the center. I wonder if we're going to get a switch soon. This is looking kind of scary. All right, just charging oh. the water gun, but no, back you're going to catch him on his uh, aggressive options there. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you just, uh, you're, you're so into it, you forget about, like, what percentage you're at. You do have the option to switch. Ooh, good cross up. I like that a lot. Sending him in a completely opposite direction. Good. Yo, okay. That also is a frame one option, the uh, the down B. Thought we were going to see the up smash from Charizard. That is one of his better tools. Why but do you do that when you hit up, though? Yeah, basically. Yeah. And he missed the platform, and he still killed him. That's the heaviest spacey, too. Hmm. And uh, for those of you who don't really know, ooh, that was a good down down air. Uh, Squirtle, when you play with Squirtle, you definitely don't want to be landing on platform for down air. There's just far too much lag. It's a good out of shield option, however. Uh, but for those of you who don't know, the forward tilt with Squirtle can actually trip people. It's it's a good tool, but it doesn't really send people back that far. But it has good range. It's a, it's a good tool to use in neutral for sure. Okay, going to Ivy. Oh, that, uh, I don't know about landing like that, man. What's he doing? Okay. Very nice landing there. They're going with a back air, uh, back throw into attempted tipper back air. Uh, I, I think I saw Sweet Tea going for a grab himself, but K9 was a little quicker on the draw, and he does have better uh, space, better stage advantage too, or uh, stage position. Gonna need to hold on to this Charizard stock right now. Mm. And I like how Sweet Tea didn't opt for uh, just going straight through the platform and going with the back air. That is kind of slow. Oh, using the, the flamethrower to try to put K9 in an uncomfortable sitch. Oh, okay. Very nice yeah. avoidance from Sweet Tea there, but Sweet K9 tea. is just covering every option he could think of. Sweet Tea, looked, it looked to me that Sweet Tea thought he got crossed up by the dash attack and he responded accordingly, but he didn't. Uh, he could have just gone for a grab, but that, that was hard to see. That was really hard to see. Oh. <laughs> it looked like K9 was like, he was like posing for the Mountain Dew. Secret sponsor? Alright, so we're going straight into it. Same character, same time, same place. Meet me on the school ground, nerd. Okay, charging up the water gun. Going back into it, we have Squirtle out in front with a full water gun out. Just playing uh, playing for center stage here. Sweet T doing really well, holding his own in the middle. 
Oh yeah, Squirtle's one of those characters that uses instant dash attack very well. Uh, if that's one character you want to practice that mechanic with, do it with Squirtle. Ooh, bad roll. Yeah, and uh, side B, not as safe as everyone originally made it out to be, because we just saw forward air just take that no problem whatsoever. Speaking of forward air, okay, good forward tilt as well from Squirtle. But yeah, the, the fact that it doesn't uh, send people back, it's kind of a problem. Ooh, he almost got uh, two framed. Not two framed, but. Very nice forward throw into Blaster there. Yep. Whoa! Gets the up tilt at the very top. Wow. Yeah, he barely had any rage, too. That is so strong. Okay, good grab. Wow, I think that was like the threshold of his range to be able to get that grab. Okay, Sweet T definitely has to get himself back into the center of the stage here, and he does just that. I wonder if he's going to start switching. No, not when you can do that. Maybe that's why he keeps Squirtle around for so long, because he has all those sweet uh, jab locks on deck. Nice back air to shield. Another back air. Water time. That, that's got to be a dead wolf. No? No. Oh, misspacing the down smash. But uh, Sweet T also misses opportunity when he whipped that grab. He's been whipping a couple of those grabs. Yeah, that was another one. All right, nice back throw. Not going to be able to kill just yet. Sweet just uh, trying to get the water gun. Not going to be able to catch it in Waterfall. I love that recovery. He held back as much as he could, and Kanan barely missed. Oh, yeah. He's going to get uh, reflected by... Uh, shine there. Okay, forward throw. Or down throw. Trying to sniff up a jump with that blaster. Now, you know what I've seen? Uh, I was fighting a, a young Link with a Pokemon trainer, and this young Link, uh, AJ Sucks, he's been on the stream quite a few times. He got me with Nair every time, and I don't see why Wolf couldn't do the same thing to Ivysaur. Just catch him with the Nair. He might be afraid of recovering um, and, you know, losing his position. Well... What situation are you talking about with Wolf in there? Ivysaur using his up Ooh, good down air. Yeah, yeah but uh, Ivysaur using his down, uh, using his vine whip to recover, and then I would just get nared off stage. Like, he, he could just, like, catch you anywhere. I haven't seen a canine off for that, but it's, it's better. Thing. It's better to stay on stage, uh, especially with Wolf, because, again, you get. You're a character who gets gimped yeah. pretty well. And with a character you're fighting against, like Ivysaur, if you miss that Nair, you're, the Ivysaur can reversal you. And down easily. air you. Yeah, it's true. And there's the Pichu. It seems to me that Wolf... <laughs> well, I would imagine a lot of people don't like Pichu in the matchup. But uh, Pichu is a lot quicker. But it also uh, dies the back air at around this percent. Oh, Peachy's been at kill percent from down smash for like a good year. Now. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, that was kind of cool though. Getting that down air. Oh, thunderbolt. Okay, Sweet T's throwing out a lot of hitboxes right now. Ooh, okay, the forward smash is gonna take that one clean. Forward though. Trying to get him with a back air or down tilt. Very nice read on the roll with the turnaround grab. Good recovery. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's what happens when you try to challenge that forward smash. Sometimes you can get something out of it, but it's generally safe. Uh, d uh, down smash. That was. I thought I saw a forward smash just now. I thought I saw a down smash. Anywho. there. I mean, all of Wolf's smashes are pretty safe. Except for up smash. All right. Very nice up throw. Going to the four there. Very safe damage from K9. Yeah. Back air. Ooh. Back air. Or not back. Yeah. Back air does seem to be the bread and butter for Sweet Tea. Or at least the way that he plays Pichu. Getting grabbed. Ooh. Yo, that was a down smash for sure. Catching him before he could even get to the ledge. Okay. B reversing the laser, but not really working out in his favor. Put too much faith in the up smash, too. Really expected that to connect with the Pichu. Not that that would have done a whole lot. 
All right, just missing the thunder after the up air there. Trying to get this K9 stock, but K9 not making it easy at all. Did I just see Sweet T use forward tilt to duck under the laser? I, I think I, I think I just saw that. Okay. Ooh. Okay, trying to use that forward tilt. Trying to take him out now. <laughs> but now, but now, K9 knows what he's looking for. You know, Sweet T hadn't really thrown that out until around this percent. I right, gotta get the back throw here. Trying to go for a nair, not gonna be able to get it. Mm. Fire, very nice you agility past the ledge there. Okay, more of the back air. Uh, that was good, that was good. All right, just spacing him out with the lasers. I mean, I totally agree. When you see how quickly Pikachu can rack up damage, or Pichu can rack up damage, yeah. I'd be more careful if I were Wolf, especially when he's essentially juggle food. Like, uh, almost. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Sweet Tea and Nairing actually killed him, and K9 took advantage of that. Yeah. Using cross-up back air to get that 